Hi guys, today we are at Atlanta Camping RV Show. Woo. It's our first time at an RV show, we're so we're excited. Let's go inside and take a look at what there is. We pre-purchased the tickets online because there was a little bit of discount if you pre-purchase online. I think, um, how much were the tickets? $10. $10 each, but we got $4 discount because we purchased online. So, hey, every dollar counts. Interesting, they have a, like a little marketplace, like perfumes, handbags. <laughs> And then there's RVs. <laughs> and some boats too. There is like so many, like they're so packed in here. It's crazy. to see where we want to start and which ones we want to look at first. It's a lot of RVs in here. He's got a hat Wow, this one is called the Alliance. It is huge. It's like porch. It has two porches. Yeah, it has two porches. Porch here. Porch out there. Yep, yeah, it comes down. It's a giant TV. There's a full kitchen with the island. A lot of windows. Oh, a poxy counter. Glass counter. I mean, glass cabinet. Counter extensions on both sides, actually, which is good. More counter space. Wait, let me take it to the back area again when there's not as much people. So there's a porch in the back there, and then there's a porch on the side here, and there's some like sitting area. It has its own awning, and then that is back where the kitchen was. Oh, and then from this little sitting area in the porch, you have the TV above as well. Wow, the bathroom is pretty big. It feels big because you can open both of the doors. Let's do the master. Looks like there's a big closet there. Four drawer units, sliding doors. <laughs> yeah, the closet's big. Yeah. That was called Alliance Valor 42 V13. 42 feet long, pretty big, pretty big. Then there's a through storage. So if you're looking for a big camper, that's a pretty good one. This one's called the Alliance Avenue 32 RLS. That's pretty bright and light finishes. Oh, I like it. 
Why does that's a bright interior. Has the island. What's kind of like? Dinette area. Three burner stove with the oven. That looks like a full, yeah, residential full size microwave. And a pretty big refrigerator. And a drawer fridge. And a nice pantry area. Actually, it makes it feel a bit more spacious because the uh, color of the. Yeah, it make, I was just saying yeah. that. It makes it feel big because um, all the interior, like the wood finishes, are very light and bright. So it feels a lot bigger than what it may be. And there's like very modern fireplace, pretty big TV. It reminds me of the setup in our parents' camper. Oh, window by the kitchen. Stove. Very nice. And the shower. Oh wow, the shower is pretty good size. Has a skylight. The toilet. Pretty, you know, pretty good counter space. Doesn't it oh. feel open right here? It feels so open, like so big. Yeah, it feels very big. Yeah. Oh, look at the closet. Yeah, nice closet space. It has light in it. You can see everything. Like a body mirror. Well, I can fit in the closet. Oh, Rob can fit in the closet. He can. I can put him in timeout. <laughs> And that's your third door. Wow, this one's pretty nice. Did you know about this Alliance brand? Yeah. Oh. I actually haven't seen it. This is the first time I've seen it. Right? Yeah. All right. So this will be more like, you know, um, full-time camping size for our kind of travel the other one was a bit way too big for us yeah but yeah, yeah that, was, that was a toy hauler you oh, put like a, a souped up gar golf cart in there oh yeah. souped up golf cart this one is the rockwood ultralight 2893ds Oh, this one has a light interior too. Well, they were clever. Oh, <laughs> they show you all the layouts. That's kind of like a, you know, clean feel design. Has a little island. Three burner stove. Has an oven. And the sink is over here with some cabinets above. But I do like the light finish interior in the RV. It just makes it feel a lot more spacious. Yeah, it does. And then let's check out the bathroom. Okay, not bad. Kind of corner sink with a little bit of counter space. Pretty good size shower with a skylight. Oh, this bedroom feels pretty spacious too. The closet isn't as big as the other one, but it has this extra kind of built-in thing on the side. So I guess all together could be kind of similar. Babe. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, this one seems, it must be more narrower. Oh, you could, yeah, washer and dryer. You in can there. put washer and dryer in here. Yeah. Which is a good feature.
it was getting hot in there so we had to come out to drop off my jacket in the car but while we're out here there was a few um rvs out here the fifth wheels fusion we wanted to take a look oh where's the model numbers it's a three uh, oh three seven this is the Fusion 373. Oh. This is a toy hauler. Oh, look at this island. Has a couple of <laughs> seats that you can sit on. On all sides. Oh, on all sides. Yeah. You can have a little party. And there's a fireplace with the TV and recliner seating here and then stove sink and some counter space full-size fridge and this is the you can haul a golf cart or whatever you want going up to the bathroom the sink kind of feels a little bit smaller, but, and not much counter space. But that's standard in a lot of the bathrooms. There's a little shelf. What's the closet? Oh, closet. Yeah. And the um, washer, washer and dryer hookup. And this door slides. Oh. Oh, another closet. Oh. Hanging closet. Oh, that one you can hang too. It's got a rod in it. Oh, it has a rod in there too. Yeah. Cuckoo. Okay. So this is the fusion. The material feels like it's a little bit cheaper built. Do you think so? Yeah. Maybe the price is a little less. We didn't see the price for this one, but. This is a Sprinter 32BH. Oh, good amount of counter space here. So when you're working from this side, I guess this kind of becomes a little bit interesting. That's a different layout. Yeah. Oh, they got a big uh, bunker in back there. Oh, this is a bunk house. Oh, pretty spacious bunk room. Kids yeah. would love this. Pretty cool, pretty cool. A couple of recliners. Dinette. This part feels pretty spacious. Oh, has a rounded shower. Y'all know Ralph doesn't really care for rounded showers. Oh, and the sink is here. I was like, where's the sink? And the bedroom. Oh, there's no pull out in the bedroom. Yeah, no pull out in the bedroom. So you have hanging on either side and a couple of storage options on the, on the top.
Bye. Shower test. <laughs> The fireplace. That's the bedroom. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the bedroom has a fireplace. This is your cabinet space. Oh uh, yeah, it's because it collapses. Mm -hmm. Like we have, the, uh, we went in one, the, the one made by Tag. Oh. But it was solid all the way up, so it had cabinets. But since this one collapses, it makes it a little bit more appealing when on the back of the truck riding down the road. It doesn't look like a big bubble on the back of your truck. A little so, sitting area, and then you can climb up to your bed. And then the little fridge. Oh, it doesn't have a bathroom. Oh, some no of them have bathrooms, yeah. No bathroom. Ugh. I guess this is a small one. Another truck camper. Oh, this one has bathroom. It's a wet shower. Yeah. Wet room. Hey, when you have a wet room, it's good. You can just clean everything while you're taking a shower. And the fridge is right here. Oh, wow, it has a little oven in here. A three burner. Three burner and a microwave and a little pantry. You have TV up there. This little thing got everything in it. was like what is this so I guess it collapses all down to fit in your garage but I guess with ones like this you would have to really oh, pay like attention to like leaks or anything like that since it collapses and opens and stuff it's like a pop-up camper but solid oh Solid pop-up camper. Oh, like a little tub. Okay, okay. Excuse me. No, sorry. <laughs> and the bedroom. I guess you gotta kind of do a climbing job to get up there.
kitchen is pretty spacious. Oh, yeah. It has a lot of counter space, oven, three burner stove, nice size TV with reclining seats across from the TV. Can we test it? <laughs> Feel good? And then, oh, double vanity, fancy. Good amount of counter space. And shower with skylight, some, oh, spacious linen closet. The bathroom feels very spacious. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Wow. Those sinks are tiny. Yeah, the sinks are tiny. Has a extended counter space. Oh, it doesn't have a dinette. That's why it's so spacious. Yeah, yeah. They have everywhere to like get the pool Bedroom with a couple of cabinets on each side. So yeah, you'll have to have like a the pull up table to sit here for eating. like brass hardware with black cabinets a fireplace and big size tv and look at this window that's a pretty big window clean simple bathroom oh it has shower curtain though i don't really care for shower curtains but can't be perfect, you know. Oh, look. <laughs> oh, through storage. Through storage. I was like, why is there hardware on the carpet? What's that over there? And then, what is over here? Oh, it's a closet. Closet? Mm hmm. Oh. I like this color. Yeah, I do too. Maybe this should have been white. Or something lighter maybe. Yeah. They tried, they tried. But the layout is pretty good. Mm -hmm. This is the Puma 32 BHFS. Oh, it's a closet, washer, I think 
Oh no, just yeah, washer and dryer. Washer and dryer it hook up. Be, yeah. And it has the outside door right there. Okay, new closet space. A bunkhouse. Where's the bathroom? Uh, just that little door right there oh. behind the TV. This is a big bunkhouse. Kids can have a party in there. Bathroom. Another Puma, Puma 28 RKQS. Oh, this looks pretty spacious. Look at the lights. This is pretty. Yeah. I really like this. Has kitchen, good amount of space, cabinets above. The TV area connects from the kitchen and makes it look spacious. Mm -hmm. this, pantry. this is a pantry. This one feels very spacious. Yeah, it does. Very open, but it has dinette and kind of the theater seating with this love seat. Yeah. Across from the TV. So pretty good layout. Only thing is I wish the counter was lighter. Make it brighter, but Mm -hmm. I really like this. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Okay, the bathroom. The all sink. Although the sink space is pretty small, the sink itself, they made it pretty big. The shower's good. good. The shower is good. It has glass doors. Bedroom. Cozy, two storage on the sides. Simple bedroom layout. We like outdoor kitchens, can you tell? <laughs> Found the square drop. Okay. <laughs> Got a pretty nice kitchen back here, but Ralph can't walk under it straight. <laughs> you can't stand up straight, can you, babe? No, no, no. But I already knew about this, like this one already. Yeah. <laughs> you got a microwave done. <laughs> yeah. There's a full kitchen in it. <laughs> so Ralph is about a little over 6'3", and that's what would happen. <laughs> XLE 25BHSC. Light and bright interior. Three furnace stoves. <laughs> <laughs> Dinette. Shower's pretty big. Oh, the shower's pretty good. Again, the sink area is smaller, but um, it has a pretty decent sized sink. 
And two bunks. But this one feels pretty open because the bunks are open on the side. Some of them have a wall, so when you go in, it feels very closed in. But this one has a curtain for privacy instead. So it'll be good for kids. This is the Alpine 3910RK. It has two doors. Walking into the kitchen, full-size fridge. Wow, it has a big oven with a full-size microwave. Big spacious pantry. We got three. Huh? Wine cellar. Oh, wine. Um, wine rack. Yeah, wine rack. Wow. The pool out area is pretty tall. Yeah. We've only found one. Yeah. This is pretty, this is really spacious. I get in shut the door on my shoulders, hitting the most of the We need a neo angle. A neo angle? Yeah, we have a. We have a neo angle in our toilet. Some powder room, sink, toilet, and linen closet. Phoenix. Okay. I found out why everybody's in here now. <laughs> yeah. Bedroom. Master bedroom. Uh, the bed. Oh, huge bathroom in the back. Double sink, plenty of counter space. Like a bathroom at home. <laughs> nice shower. Plenty of closet space. Look at that. All right. This one you would have no problem full time RVing in. <laughs> but it is huge. Let's take a look at it, Class C. Coach Omni BT36. Of course, TV on the exterior. The bed above. The driver and passenger. Dinette seating across from the theater seating and then the TV is above the bed. Sink area with some storage. I have a corner sink with microwave. Oh. And then there's a bathroom back here. There's a powder room here with just toilet sink. And then the full bathroom is in the master. Counter space, storage, toilet, and closet. Closet. Yeah, let's look at the Pantry? Pantry? Oh, yeah, it must be a pantry. Yeah. 
so I wasn't really planning to put any class A's or anything in the video but we happened to go into this one and it is so nice so I just wanted to show it to you guys but look at the price for boom Hi mom, send money. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice unit, yeah. <laughs> Fancy light. The leather is like so soft. And they have quartz, waterfall. This is kind of nice. Yeah. Yeah, we have that. Nice kitchen. Nice dinette area. All quartz. And then there's a powder room. And this is your bedroom with the LED lights. Full wall of storage. <clears throat> nice size TV in your bedroom. Mirror to make it feel more spacious. And then the bathroom. Look at that. It's like nicer than bathrooms and houses. <laughs> This one's showing sold, but this one was really nice too, so I wanted to show it to you guys. This one is a little bit brighter and lighter than the other one that I just showed, so it feels very spacious. Look at that. I like this one better, actually. You like this one better? Yeah. This one's a little bit less. Yeah, it's like, that's why I like it. <laughs> I think it's shorter too. The other one's 45 feet long. Yeah, the other one was huge. Flooring. Plenty of counter space. Very nice dinette. Two people. Dinette area. Fireplace. Of course, TV here, TV there. This almost was like a TV. <laughs> <laughs> It has a little bit less um, storage than the other one, but bathroom, double sink, good size shower. Yeah, pretty nice. 
but comes with the price tag. So this part is pretty cool. It's a hide aloft, so it comes down and becomes a bed. <laughs> well, that's what you want to do to our kitchen.